integrals. Find integral 0 to pi by 2 tan x divided by 1 plus m square tan square x dx. Okay, so we have our terms of integration that is the function is here that is tan x divided by 1 plus m square tan square x dx. Okay, so what we have to do first we have to Make some substitution for tan x in order to find the value of this integral. Since this uh, function is not that directly integrable, we have to make some changes in terms by substitution method. Okay, note that this integral is a definite integral that is the integral with limit that is upper limit and lower limit of integration. Okay. At first what we are going to do is we are going to rewrite our tan x. It is tan x is rewritten as sin x divided by cos x. Then what we will get sin x by cos x in the numerator. What about the denominator? 1 plus m square into sin square x by cos square x dx. Okay. Next uh, we will take LCM of this term. Then what we will get? Integral of 0 to pi by 2 sin x by cos x. Cos square x is taken here. That is cos square x plus m square sin square x. Whole divided by cos, cos square x. That is we get our LCM as cos square x. Then we will get make this term like this by adding this fraction. Then what is here? Here a cos x is here. Here another x cos x is here. We can cancel each of the cos x terms. Then what will remain? Sin x cos x divided by cos square x plus m square sin square x. That is on cancelling cos x and taking this cos x to the numerator. How we can take it to numerator? Because it is the reciprocal of this term. Okay, denominator is reciprocal. It is the reciprocal of this term. So we can take it to the numerator. Okay, then next we have to apply our substitution. Uh, by using which function we can do a perfect substitution is that is check. Okay, if we put cos square x is some t, then what will be derivative? That is 2 cos x minus sin x. Okay, that is we will get negative of our numerator as the derivative. If you choose sin square x, we will get exact derivative as our numerator. So, let us choose sin square x. If you want, you can choose cos square x too. So, on choosing the sin square x as t, we will get, by differentiating with respect to x, we will get 2 sin x cos x equal to dt by dx. Okay. Differentiating each of the term with respect to t, we will get this. Now, sin x into cos x dx equal to dt by t. Okay, so we get, what we get? We get value of sin square x as t, this term as dt by 2. What about this term? Since cos square x equal to 1 minus sin square x, we can return this cos square x as 1 minus Okay. Next what we need, we need the limits of integration. That is, we have to substitute the limits too. Okay. So, when x equal to 0, what will be the t? x equal to 0 means sin square 0, which is equal to 0. So, t equal to 0. When x equal to pi by 2, what is t? Sin square pi by 2. Since sin, sin pi by 2 equal to 1, sin square pi by 2 is also equal to 1. Now we can do our substitution that is 0 to 1 that is 0 to 1 t ranges from 0 to 1 sin x cos x is changed into dt by 2 whole divided by 1 minus t that is cos square t plus m square t. 
sin square x is n square t. So this is our u function. We can rewrite this function as 1 by 1 plus n square minus 1 into t into dt by 2. Okay, here we have m square t, here we have minus t by taking t outside we will get m square here minus 1 here that is m square minus 1 into t into dt by 2. Now we have to make, sorry now we have to integrate this function. What is this? That is we have 1 by 1 plus a constant into t. m square minus 1 is a constant. What is this integral of this function? That is log mode 1 plus m square minus 1 into t divided by m square minus 1. Okay. Here we will take 1 by 2 as here. Next. For integrating 0, sorry, on applying limit from 0 to 1, what we will get? 1 by 2 log 1 plus m square minus 1 into t divided by m square minus 1. This is our value of integral on applying limit from 0 to 1. What we will get? That is, first term will be, instead of t, we have to provide 1. Then our first term is? m square minus 1 into t. Okay. t equal to 1. That is 1 plus m square minus 1 minus 1 plus instead of t we have to put 0 then 1 plus 0. Okay. This is our value of integral. But we need it in a simplified form. So, what is this? 1 plus m square minus 1 is log m square. Then, 1 plus 0 is log 1. What is the value of log 1 to the base e? It is 0. So, we get 1 by 2 into m square minus 1 into log mod m square. Okay, that is 1 and minus 1 get cancelled here. Then, what is this? What is m log mod x square that is 2 log x? Similarly, log mod m square can be rewritten as that is 2 log mod m divided by 2 into m square minus 1. On cancelling 2s, we will get log mod m divided by m square minus 1 as the value of our integral. That is log x raised to n equal to n log x. Using that, we are writing this.